In this video, we will show you the method of migrating Google Mailbox data like mails, address book, calendar and Google Drive documents into Office 365 platform, in a safe and secure manner. We bring you the best solution, with SysTools Migrator software. Now let's check out the main features of the software. The tool helps to migrate Google Mailbox data like emails, calendar, contacts on documents, and eliminates duplicity of mailbox data through Delta migration feature. The tool supports all Windows 10, Server 2012 and 16. And the software is tested with 40 GB per hour migration speed. Now let's check out the prerequisites before installing the software. Destination user or users should already be created at destination admin account. Make sure that you create Google Console project and add scopes in source account. And also make sure that you create console project in Office 365 destination account. Now let's check out how the tool works. First of all, make sure that you have followed all the prerequisites. You can see the links of prerequisites video in the description box below. After activating the product, go to settings and choose Enable Multiple Accounts option, to either add or remove multiple source on destination account configurations. And the Concurrent Users option, lets you choose the number of users to be processed per account. After choosing the desired options, hit Save button below. Now let's choose G Suite as source, and select Office 365 as destination. Now let's check out the other features, the software lets you migrate to emails, and lets you specifically choose mails according to certain date range. You can choose desired dates from the drop down. Similarly you can choose the document option, and select documents, according to certain date range. And you can choose migrate document permissions option, to allow execution of document level permission and a group mapping option, allow resolution of source to destination groups, using a CSV file. And if you wish to allow contact, and calendar migration with date filter applied, you can do so by selecting the required options. And you can also choose user group mapping option. After choosing the desired options, hit save button to save the settings. Then in the next window, you can see further options. Enter admin mail ID in the first field, and then enter service account ID details in the next field, then enter the P12 certificate in the next field option below. If you are having any doubts regarding project creation, click the link here and follow the steps mentioned. And then proceed further by clicking the validate button, in order to make sure that the correct permissions are given to the account. You can click the plus icon on top, if you want to add multiple service accounts as well. After choosing the desired options, click next button to proceed further, and then enter the destination admin mail ID, in the field option below. And enter the application ID in the next field. And if you have any doubts regarding migration, click the I button next to it. Then the help section will open on the right, and you will find all the information related to migration here. And then proceed further by clicking the validate button, in order to make sure that the correct permissions are given to the account. After choosing the desired options, click next button to proceed further. In the next window, you can see further options. Fetch users option, will fetch all the users from the source account. Click continue button to proceed. Now you can see all the users will be fetched from the configured account, and after the process completes successfully, click OK. And then you can see all the list of source mail IDs here. You can either choose to migrate all the users, or go with specific users, according to your requirements. Now let's check out the import users option. You can import users, 
using the template CSV provided. Click Download Template button to download the template CSV file. And then you can edit the CSV and add desired users to migrate. Now click Import Users button and select the CSV file from the save location and hit Upload button. The selected users will now be imported. And here you can see the source and destination users. The tool also provides option to download user list and group mapping template etc. After choosing the desired options, hit validate button on top to proceed further. After successful validation, you can see green icons indicating that both the source and destination accounts has been successfully validated. Now let's click start migration button on top to initiate the migration process. And then you can see the total number of licenses purchased, consumed and available etc. And hit start button below. Now you can see that the migration has started successfully. And after successful migration, you can see further details here. You can rerun migration or retry failed migration by selecting the desired option from the top. And the download report button lets you download the complete migration report in CSV format. You can open the folder to check the detailed report. Now let's check out the output files. Open the destination office 365 destination account. And here you can see further output data. Log on to the given product page for more details and purchasing the product. For any query, mail us to support at Thank you for watching.